We might we might grab a player and take some of the start sort of out. Oh we have work, yeah. work this way. patented a pair of clamp-on cleats. This is not exactly like the ones that you patented, but you've heard of A.G. Spaulding. He's the founder of the National League and the Chicago Cubs, but he also uh, was a ball player himself, and uh, he was a sporting good seller. You may have heard of Spaulding Sporting Goods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But he, he patented a pair of cleats that, the, that they could wear on their shoes, and this is, this is uh, as close as we can estimate what they may have looked like. You know, I don't know what that significance is. It's a 32 inch, and I don't know if the three is the model number uh, from the company that makes this bat. We actually have the equipment made by companies that do reproduction. That Phoenix Bat Company is one of them, and they, they make reproduction vintage equipment. So the bats and the balls um, are all, and some, some of the players, depending on the period of time we are reenacting, will wear gloves, um, which were common in the late 1870s, and these are all manufactured by, uh, by companies that make vintage baseball equipment. Uh, not a lot of padding on the glove, uh, they didn't. They didn't commonly start wearing gloves until the late 1870s, and the balls weren't pitched overhand until 1885. And at that point, the pitchers started wearing better gear because it hurt. So we're talking about the pre 1870s. Yes, you're you're watching uh, the 1860s version of the rules. Right, right. And baseball was about 15 years old at that point. This game, the, the game that you're watching now with the 90-foot base pads and the nine players on the field, that those rules were codified in 1845 by Alexander Cartwright in New York City. So he and the, the New York Knickerbocker Club designed the game that, that you're seeing today. Civil War soldiers probably played yes. a lot of baseball. Civil War soldiers did play baseball, yeah, both sides. Both, both uh, Confederates and Union. Party and all night, get you. Go to bed early. Four o'clock in the morning is 
not early, Carson. <laughs> Grasshopper eating. Yeah. Yes, sir. How you doing? Go ahead. How you doing? Z-Man. Easy, easy, easy. 
easy, easy, easy. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, Gerald, stretch it out a little bit. Just careful. You need another runner? Okay.